We're talking with Tiana Burke from the Georgian Bay Biosphere. And uh, Tiana, in spring, we often see turtles out on the road. Tiana, why did the turtle cross the road? Well, while we think of turtles as living in the water, they need to lay their eggs on land. So since roads often intersect their habitat, they need to cross them. June is the highest uh, point of nesting season for turtles, but it's important to keep our eyes out for them on the roads from April through to November. And why is it important to help turtles crossing the roads? Well, seven of Ontario's eight turtle species are provincially at risk, so their populations aren't doing too well. Some turtles can take up to 20 years to mature before they can lay their first clutch of eggs. And so these older, larger turtles are extremely important because they're directly responsible for creating future turtle generations. Unfortunately, many don't reach this age due to threats that they face, such as habitat loss, road mortality, and predation. It's actually estimated that only 1% of turtle eggs laid actually reach adulthood. So every turtle is important. So what should someone do if they see a turtle on the road? Always be sure of your own safety at first. As soon as you're able to move over safely, gently move the turtle in the direction that it is going across the road. Also, be sure to never pick up a turtle by the tail because you can dislocate or break its spine. Most turtles can be picked up carefully with two hands, one on each side of the shell. More care is needed for snapping turtles as they are very uncomfortable on land, which makes them more likely to snap. Snapping turtles can reach their heads back about midway on the shell, so the best ways to move one would be either sandwiching it with both hands, so one hand under the shell, similarly to holding a tray of drinks, and then one on top. And the second way, if they're too large or if you are uncomfortable moving one, um, you can also use a shovel, a board, a car mat to move the turtle. So you simply just coax it onto the object and then from behind, drag it across the road in the direction, of course, that it was going. My personal preference is the car mat because you always have one with you if you're in your car. And what if we find an injured turtle on the road? So there is a turtle hospital called the Ontario Turtle Conservation Centre, or the OTCC, in Peterborough. And turtles can recover from trauma amazingly well. And more than 66% of the turtles brought to this place have been released back into the wild. So if you do find an injured turtle, you can call the OTTC and arrange for a turtle taxi volunteer um, to meet you. So again, you're going to want to pull over safely, place the turtle into a well-ventilated plastic container with a secured lid, and note the location that you got it. Don't give the turtle any food and don't place it in water. Immediately call the OTCC at 705-741-5000 to arrange a turtle taxi and further guidance. The OTCC is also always looking for volunteers to shuttle injured turtles to and from them. Um, And they have an online guide on how to create your own turtle trauma kit. So definitely check them out and help volunteer. All right. Thank you very much, Tiana.